let them make me a sanctuary so that I may dwell with them. This was a promise that was given to the children of Israel that if God was to dwell and stay with them, they were supposed to make a, a, a sanctuary for him. But the sanctuary was supposed to be made under the pattern of that which was in heaven. So in other words, they were shown the pattern of the sanctuary that was in heaven. It had an outer court. It had a holy place. It had the most holy place. And they were supposed to minister and sacrifice in each of these. But you will notice that there was the important part of the sanctuary which was the most holy place in the most holy place the great atonement was done in other words dear friends this same pattern is the same pattern that we have in heaven while in the earthly sanctuary they would enter into the sanctuary with the blood of the bulls and the blood of the sheep the heavenly sanctuary was to be different because they were to enter with the blood of jesus christ allow me to read from the book of exodus chapter 28 and the verse is 34 the bible reads a golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate, all around on the hem of the robe. This was supposed to be the robe of the priest. The robe of the priest had bells around it over. As he entered into the most holy place, he was supposed to minister and sacrifice and do everything, the ministrations inside there. But the bells were to remind Israel that while they are agonizing outside and praying and confessing, as long as they had the bells ringing, it meant they still had hope for their unconfessed sin to be forgiven. This is the same with us, dear friends. Christ has entered into the most holy place, not with the blood of bulls, not with the bl blood of the sheep, but with his own blood so that he can atone for our sins. And one thing for sure is that the bells are still ringing. So if there is a sinner out there, there is still a chance for forgiveness. If there is a brother or a sister who is out there who is harboring and confessed the sin, the bells are still ringing. Christ is in the most holy place. For he entered the most holy place in 1844. Why? Why 1844? We'll go back to prophecy. Until 2300 days and the temple shall be cleansed. Now when you count those days or when you count those years, the day for a year principle, you'll find that it ends in 1844. That is when Christ enters from the holy holy place into the most holy place. In the most holy place, investigative judgment is happening, starting with those who have fallen asleep already. In other words, names are being brought forth before them and they are being checked one by one. In other words, dear friends, we who are alive, we have a chance to make it right. We who are alive, we have a chance for our sins to be forgiven. Let me challenge someone today, dear friends, in our lives, just general application. Let us put the same principle. Let us put even our bodies into the same principle. Let us put our Christian behavior into the same principle. What am I saying? Make sure that your body is also divided into the holy place and into the most holy place. Don't let any priest enter each and every part. But the most holy place is reserved for the high priest. I hope you heard me. For the husband is the high priest of the home. Let not anyone else enter, but only the high priest is allowed to enter there. That is another lesson that we get from the sanctuary system but the truth in all matter after all has been said and done we have a high priest who is Jesus Christ who will forgive your sins have you sinned come to Jesus there is still hope that you can be forgiven the bells are still ringing God bless you